Take two. This video is a remake because I already made a video where I unbagged this socket and checked it out because it's one that has been the subject of a recall in the UK. It's an MK socket and I couldn't actually find anything wrong with it. It seemed a sensible enough design, but the Patreon supporters said, have you tried setting fire to it? Well, to be fair, I do have a lighter here, so we could try setting fire to it and see if the plastic is just not self-extinguishing. So this is supposed to have an issue with arcing inside and the brand itself is prominent. It's a uh, MK is like the Rolls Royce of electrical fitments. It's the one that all the architects tend to specify. Very expensive, but this is their budget range, their, their good value range. And there's just certain model numbers. You can find, I'll put a link to the recall notice down below in the description, but you can find uh, the data re relating to which ones have been recalled. So this one is notable for having this clip-on trim. That is what possibly makes it stick out from the others, and it's the bit that uh, made it easy to find on eBay when I went looking for a recalled socket. Because they get rid of them on eBay at times, certain, certain companies. So let's take some screws out of this, and we'll see what's inside. So here's an earth connection, and there's the external earth connection, um, and then the live and neutral. Sensible enough design. Let's take these screws out and disassemble it. I will say it's that kind of tree plastic, and the tree plastic does not tend to be as flame resistant as the horrible, hard, brittle plastic. It, I used to find it quite annoying, the plastic knockout Patras boxes, the surface mounting ones, uh, that the they had little cut out entrances for cables when you were putting a socket directly onto a wall that couldn't be cut into. And those are. Uh, those hard boxes, those little cutouts, you'd often break the socket trying to get into them. Okay, right, let's see if I can prise this up. It's quite a nice logical construction. As you put it in, everything goes on to locking sort of positions. I mean, this is an earth bar that comes under here, and that earth bar goes into one of the earth connections in here. And here is what I thought was going to be the problem, the switches. Because the problems seem to originate around the switches, uh, arky inside, but they've got... I don't know if you can see this. I'll tilt it up. I'll zoom in. But the contact's in there. Can you even see that? It's not perhaps as obvious. Uh, let me just point a light into it. I'll try and hold the light in my mouth. Is that going to help? I don't know if that's showing up, but to me, at here, I can see there's very good clearance. Okay, let's take, let's set fire to the plastic. Let's see if it's the plastic that is the issue. So I shall try and set fire to this stuff. And it is bubbling up. I wouldn't say that's not really, that is bubbling up and not really supporting combustion. I mean, there's smoke coming off it. It is charring. That's self-extinguished. What about the front fascia? Is it going to be any better? It's doing its best to self-extinguish. Plenty of smoke. It is bubbling up again. It's not super readily supporting flame. So what is, what has actually gone wrong here? It would have been good getting one of the ones that's already uh, broken, so to speak. Well, one of the ones that's supposed to have gone on fire. Um, is there something in the construction that somehow maybe it just gets hot and melts and then the contacts get further apart? I don't see any obvious position you would get tracking in here. It's very strange. What about this? Let's hold this in a pair of side cutters and set fire to the button. Although the button, I wouldn't really consider this a super, super major thing. This socket is unusable now, not that I was going to use it anyway. Self-extinguishing again. Oh, lighter does not want to light anymore. 
Hold on. The lighter is not happy. It's refusing to light. But having said that, everything I've tried to set far to so far has just gone out. I don't know. Certainly in the previous video, I went in a bit deeper into this. I couldn't find anything really obvious wrong with it. As I say, it would be interesting getting hold of one that has actually got the problem where it's actually manifested that it's that it's caused a fire or burnt inside. Um, initially, the report I read almost suggested that there was arc flash coming out between the sockets, and I initially thought maybe it's switching both live and neutral in each switch, and there was flash over between those. I'm just not seeing it. I wonder. I wonder what the real cause is because the recall itself is very vague. But uh, that's it. We've done the flame test. We've looked at the contacts. Um, maybe I'll just, I don't know, uh, add this on to the original video or just release this on its own and as a separate video or just the main video and say, to be honest, at this point in time, I've not found anything obviously wrong with these. It makes me wonder what is the real reason for that recall. But they have been recalled. Uh, I'll put the information down below. And uh, let me know if you've had one of these go on fire or, or maybe you're a contractor and you've come across one that's had an issue. And uh, it would be quite good if you could keep that aside from me so I could take a look at it if you have one.